honestly, at this point, I think I've proved to myself how good and well-rounded of a professional that I can be. I love being a pillar for people out there who truly believe that because I reach a certain age that I won't be able to compete at the top. Right down the new guy on the team, the youngster, definitely not shy, doing a good job on these bright lights. Right down again, putting up big numbers. You know, the kid's reaction time is just absolutely ridiculous. He has one of the best snipers in the league and he's gonna kill him. Knife down, just getting started. I love watching this kid. Pretty thick, it's true, there's no doubt about it. My name is Eric Snipe Down Rona. I'm 30 years old and a professional Apex player for TSM. If Snipe Down snuck over and cleaned it up, Snipe Down playing amazing right now. Now, no chill, the head oh. shot on favor. You won't see that in my next top 10. I was in incredibly active kid growing up. I played pretty much every sport you could imagine. Started with soccer, Baseball, basketball, football, uh, tennis is what I ended up with and I just found the will to want to improve in pretty much every one of those sports and uh, just kind of keeps my competitive nature alive today. I started diving really heavy into video games in I want to say 2003. It was a couple years after Halo 1 had launched. I was playing casually at my friends' houses and then I just got really invested due to how quickly I saw improvements. I got invited to go to my friend's house who hosted random LAN parties pretty much like every weekend, every other weekend. And I didn't own an Xbox and I showed up and I was placing basically third place in every single free for all against all these players who had played all the time. And they wanted me to come back more. So they were like, you need to get an Xbox, you need to start playing. And within like a month or two, I was pretty much at my friend's level and then, you know, so on, got better. And it was just, the, the improvement definitely got addicting. My parents just thought it was a hobby. They never thought it was something that I was gonna really truly find a passion for. Um, because I was so into sports, they did, really didn't like the transition of me going and being active outside. Um, my dad played college football, and then all of a sudden too, I'm in the basement as soon as I get home from school playing video games for seven straight hours before bed. And it, it was a transition, but eventually when they saw me, like, I went to local tournaments, started coming home with money. They were like, okay, you know, like, I quit my job at the time. I was working at a Ritter's ice cream store. I actually had told them prior that if I don't make money at this tournament, then I won't keep competing because they were they didn't see it as a you know consistent thing. And fortunate enough, I did. Oh, man. I don't think I'll you can win this. You can win this. Oh my God! I'm For me back then, I definitely wasn't competing for the money. I was still young. I want to say I was like, I just turned 16. I went to prove that I was the best. I was tired of being called an online warrior and I just wanted to show up and show my skills and that I could compete at the top. No one had ever really known who I was. It was my first event and this guy's like, Six eight, super skinny, and he looks at me and he's like, "Hey, who are you?" And I was like, "I'm Snipe Down," and he's like, "Wow, you are not as nerdy as I expected you to look." And I just started laughing, and I was like, "Okay, well, that was a good entry." And then just the big double doors that you walk in and just see the lights, and it was a, it was an experience. I really don't think I felt nerves. It was a strange feeling. It's just I'm just here to prove myself, and I played really well that series and got recognized and actually got asked to join a better team after the tournament was over and it was just this giant sense of I'm here to prove myself, I know how, how good I am, I put in the work and you know it kind of took off from there. And then my last year in 2010 it just kind of all went downhill. Um, the game just kind of advanced, I was starting to go to college. College and competing definitely gave me a sense of how to 
try to time manage. I, I wasn't really, I, I say try loosely because it was really difficult. I was trying to balance competing and playing and um, I was just focused on kind of being out there and living my life and this, going through college and Halo Reach, like I said, I didn't have like the love for it as much. So I just didn't really fully commit and was placing, it was the worst game of Halo that I've placed in. And I wanna say I was just constantly like in and out of the top six and eight. Um, I got a couple third places, I think, but uh, it was the only Halo I competed in that I didn't win a tournament. When I met my wife, she didn't really know anything about the video game world. It was a shift up because she was, you know, she was an actress. She went to New York Film Academy, so she was, you know, a professional actress and had been doing stuff her whole life. So she had kind of lived that lifestyle in a sense of just kind of something abstract that was different and she was fully welcoming of it. Like it was really cool getting to learn more about her life that I knew nothing about and then her learning my life and uh, kind of putting those together. Hey, my name is Yasmin Chancerona, and I happen to be Snipe Down's wife. We were set up by a friend. I lived in New York City at the time. He just came back to Indiana, where he's from. And my friends asked me if I'm single. I happen to be single at the time. They showed me a photo of this guy. It was kind of cute, although not the most flattering photo, I must admit. And they said, listen, he's a great guy. You have to talk to him. I'm like, fantastic, excited. What does he do? Is he a lawyer, a doctor? No, actually, he's a professional gamer. I was extremely confused. But um, they guarantee that he's a fantastic guy, reliable. And then we started talking, and we finally met in person like two months later when he visited me in New York. Halo 5 was coming to an end um, and then they were just doing like random throwback Halo 3 tournaments and it was just kind of here's something to hold you off until hopefully Halo Infinite comes out and then all the delays and whatnot but um, then Apex came out. <laughs> um, I will not credit myself a lot by saying that I helped him transition, but I was definitely there when he stopped playing Halo and moved into Apex. I know it was a very strange transition to him considering he's been playing the other game for so long since he was a child. And it was really exciting to see him be so excited about a new game. During that whole time when Apex was first launching, you know, she was just like, go for it, you know, and, and if you're gonna commit, like fully commit, don't put like dip your toes in and then kind of decide later. Like you really can't, especially when a game's coming out, like you have to go 100%, 110% right away because you need to make a statement quick. I do believe it, it was a fresh start for him. I mean, you play one thing your entire life, that ends and who knows what you're going to be in the next and suddenly this beautiful game pops up out of nowhere and he does so well in it. It's like you could see his passion reignited and seeing him learn and, and be so excited about something again was was amazing. I was starting to transition into more Battle Royale styles because I just was tired of Halo. I'd been doing it for so long. I'd been playing Halo from 2001 to 2017, 2018. It's like I was just starting to get burned out. and. Apex came out and I just like the shield system, just everything about Apex really just, I was like, I can do this and just started to fall in love with the different style of the game. And um, it really reignited my passion for video games. And I think sparked, like re-sparked the love that I had because it was starting to fade. The only thing I'm, I was concerned about my age is, is people taking me seriously. Um, people who do get older get stuck in their, their ways of this is what worked for me, I'm going to keep doing it, and if I phase out, I phase out, and instead of trying to constantly adapt. Competing has put myself in a position to where when I do stop competing, I'll have built a big enough you know, following to where I can, I can do content, and I love being on camera, I love kind of telling my story and trying to motivate others out there, and uh, I, I'm not really too worried about it. I know that regardless, I'll be in the gaming space. Joining TSM and being asked to join TSM was just such a highlight of my career due to, you know, I've been all over the place when it comes to organizations, but TSM was always kind of like, TSM, you know, they're the highlight and, and just the pinnacle of, of what you want to represent. And being asked to do that year 13 into my career was just like, wow. I believe he deserves the recognition he gets. I believe he deserves to be on this team. 
and he worked so hard for it. I'm just happy he gets to be in an organization that helps him. I always just saw them as the hardest working team, the team that wanted it the most, like the passion in the team, you could just see it. And I thrive when it comes to that. You know, it made me want to just be that much better and just showcase that much more that, you know, I'm here for a reason and I'm here to stay. Definitely here to win championships under the TSM banner. Oh! Knife down is on fire!